all yeah mm -hmm. uh, just looking at these card agreements yeah mm -hmm. um, could you get me the arbitrators that hear the actual disputes uh, through the arbitration mm -hmm. uh, in which a third party privately makes a judgment or in small claims court yeah now um, there's this thought uh, because I've been through arbitration mm -hmm. The Shannon Miller arbitration where Stoll, Stoll, and Byrne represented me. Yeah. And uh, the three individuals that were there that were the arbitrators. Yeah. Mm. I'm going to want to know all the arbitrators of all the binding arbitration available to the 30 large card issuers that include mandatory arbitration mm -hmm. in their agreements. Now, my experience over the last, oh, 20 years, yes, is there's this reluctance to enforce the rules of arbitration, yes, the reluctance to enforce the requirements of the law, and then this idea that in the family, mm -hmm. if you have the money, yes, you can bribe any individual to get whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Now, these credit cards, yes, according to creditcards.com, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, I just want to know the 30 large credit card issuers of the United States. <laughs> now, um, I know that as a credit card issuer, yes, you have this idea that binding arbitration really diminishes uh, the potential liability that you could experience, yes. And knowing the arbitrators that I've experienced, yes, they did not take into consideration that the recommendations that I suggested were not followed. Yes. And even though the individual, if they had done what I suggested mm -hmm. and not had spent their, their actual assets, right, uh, they would have been worth more mm -hmm. than if um, they, 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 no, arbitration. <clears throat> I want to know the arbitrators of mandatory, just put in quotation, mandatory arbitration. Yes, mandatory arbitration. Now, there's this problem of technology. Let's say you're a college. Mm -hmm. You're worth $80 billion. Mm -hmm. And you would say that in your business, satellite technology is very, very important. Yes. To be able to communicate. Mm -hmm. In fact, somebody could have sold to 160,000 households satellites, yes, special type of internet, mm -hmm. clones of their spouses, and uh, the individuals that have the money, yes, they could afford to buy what you're selling them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, I'll give you the example of Merrill Lee and Marilyn. Mm -hmm. Mike made a look-alike of his wife named Marilyn. Yes. I have been wanting to speak to Marilyn mm -hmm, about being the mother of my sons. Yes. My wife, Heidi, yes, more than likely had a twin named Georgia. Yes. Yes, yes. That signed her name as Heidi Lee Budner. Yes. On numerous court documents. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> and then there's Trinity in Trinity. T, mm -hmm. triple E. Mm -hmm. Now, it's possible that Judge Landis had a look like, yes, that Y mm -hmm. was sitting on the bench when it should have been Judge Porter, Ooch, and that numerous individuals got involved in what was known as the use of the twin look-alike. Yes, yes, yes. Now, somehow, I think that the Koch Industries is involved in this. Um, um, and I'm wanting to know all of their satellites. Yes. Now, I want you to realize I do understand how hot it is on the East Coast. Yes. So when you GPS the location of the solar panels, mm -hmm. I'd like to know their approximate temperature when sitting on a roof. Yes. At 105 degrees Fahrenheit. Yes. And their actual manufacturing of energy that is being inverted to alternate current. Now, it's possible mm -hmm. these solar panels were designed for temperatures of approximately 70 to 100 degrees. 
and they might not be able to absorb that much sunlight without causing an increase in the manufacturing of solar radiation. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> now these copses, yes, the $80 billion that you have between you, poop. And these 160,000 households in the wealthiest one uh, one hundredth of a percent of the population? Yes. Let's say you're a trophy wife. <laughs> a very attractive 35 to 50 year old woman? Yes. Triple D or larger? Yes. And you really feel that you could mentor a younger generation about the need of submission? <laughs> it could be that the wealthy, yes, that can impress, yes, very attractive large breasted women that are 35 to 50 years old, yes might have decided that they would make a look-alike of you. Yes. That as long as they paid, yes, they would do what they say. Mm -mm. Now, why don't we evaluate the temperature of the East Coast? Yes. The amount of solar radiation that is being manufactured because of the use of solar panels. <laughs> and then every satellite that is owned by the 160,000 households of the wealthiest, yes, that were purchased with or without the right to buy, poop, and then get me their actual offspring, <clears throat> their spouses, poop, their ex-wives, yes, their credit cards, yes, and their telephone numbers, poop. I'd like to know, <clears throat> do you have a cell phone as one of the 160,000 households of the wealthiest one one hundredth of percent of the population? <laughs> And were you told that you could just sew in and you could be on the rest of your neighbors? Was there agreement among those in the family? Yes. That if your wife looked so good mm -hmm. and your neighbor did pay, yes, they could have sex through you. Ooch, so they could have sex with your wife. <laughs> now, my thought is if you own anything, yes, that is not licensed for sale in the United States of America, <laughs> I will sue you. Yes. And it won't be an arbitration. No. <laughs> In fact, if you're an arbitrator <laughs> and you can be bought, <laughs> I will sue you as an arbitrator. <laughs> because my understanding of the family. <laughs> oh, 